There's a saying that when good men fail to act, evil prevails. What they ought to say is that evil prevails. When the villains win, it's an emotional gut punch. You have a whole story to lift your spirits, but it takes only a moment to break your heart. And we enjoy it. Why? Well, it's the climax. The heroes have all gathered up. They're all bloody, broken, everything's in chaos. The heroes rally together to make one final push and make one last stand. They use everything they have, muster all their strength, and they fail. It wasn't enough. They sit in the feet, shocked, confused. Because the heroes are supposed to win. That's how it should be. And when they don't, it's an emotional gut punch. And we love it because it's shocking, it's thought-provoking, and it's realistic. Sometimes our knights don't slay the dragon. Sometimes we're not good enough, and sometimes the ones we care about don't get rescued. It's a powerful and relatable scenario. But one of the reasons why we love these stories is exactly what heroes like Deku and friends realize. Midoriya and his friends can't always win. They can't always save the day. But they can come back. They can regroup, reform, and reassemble to come back and have us asking, what's next? Thanks for watching. There has been a few stories of heroes losing and the villains actually winning the day. From Avengers to this latest episode of My Hero Academia. So I have to ask, do you prefer stories where the villains win or the heroes win? Or does it depend on the story? I'd be interested to know.